Let's take a look at problem number 17. It says, which is the graph of y is equal to x minus 2? So let's graph this one. <clears throat> y is equal to x minus 2. And I'm going to do this different ways. First of all, I'll do it by plotting points. So I'll create my t-chart, and I'm going to choose uh, values, um, I don't know, 0, 1, and 2, for example. And uh, this one here is our y, which is equal to x minus 2. So where the x is, I'm put in parentheses. So I have x minus 2. This one, same thing. And this one, same thing. If you already have it solved for y, it works out really nice. Um, and then whatever number you pick over here, whatever number's right here, automatically goes in right here. This goes in right there, and this one goes in right there. So put 0 here, 1 here, 2 here. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 1 minus 2, negative 1. 2 minus 2 gives us 0. So in plotting points then, we're going to plot 0, negative 2, which is right here. 1, negative 1, so which is right here. And 2, 0, which is right here. Now once you um, get those points, you draw a straight line through them. Not that I can draw a straight line. And that would be your answer. Now uh, let's look at this. Um, looks like B is in Bill. So 17B would be your answer. And that checks. Now right, let's look at it another way. If I got Y is equal to X minus 2, this is in slope intercept form. Whatever number is before your X is going to be your slope. And there is there is no number here, so it's invisible 1. And we like to write that in fraction form. So that would be 1 over 1. Now remember, your slope is a change in y over change in x. Change in y, positive 1 here, means I'm going to go up 1. Change in x, positive 1 here, means I'm going to go right 1. Now if this had been a, like a negative 2 up here, if it was negative, then you go down 2. If this had been a negative 3 down here, then that would be left 3. So this number here at the end is our y-intercept. So that says we got a y-intercept of negative 2. Well, another way you can graph this is you go and you put a point at our y-intercept, which is negative 2. And then, using our slope, we get our second point. So it says we go up 1, right 1. So I go up 1. And I go right one, and that's where our second point will be. And once you get your two points there, you draw a line through them, and that would be your answer. Now, there's going to be a third way. Uh, once you get to intermediate and college algebra, you'd be graphing this on your graphing calculator, TI3, TI4. And if you already got one, I'll go ahead and kind of give you the steps so you can get a kind of a preview. On that calculator, this is a TI. 83 or 84. You press the Y equals button. You press the clear button. Push the X, T, theta, little n button. That puts the X on your calculator. Minus 2 and then graph. And that'll also give you the that same graph. Um, now there's a, there's the intercept method too, but um, uh, you know the one I would probably use is the second one here instead of the intercept method.